Am I in the camera here? Yeah. yeah. It'll melt. It did? Here's the other thing they don't do in the videos, and that's I push down on it, okay? Because when it when it starts to seize back up, okay? See how the bearing's even still spinning in here? Yeah. The whole bearing, mm -hmm. there's that much. There it goes. It's starting to absorb it. Do you see that dry start to melt away? Mm -hmm. See how the outer race quit turning? Yeah. Cool. And I can let go. Cool. Ha! Huh. That is very cool. <laughs> All right, so we took our bearing, we put the dry, and, and just to kind of give some time frames, we got the aluminum heated up to about what? Do you notice 220, 230, or whatnot? The bearing actually only sat between two pieces of dry ice. It basically just sandwiched it between uh, two pieces of dry ice here. Okay, and I, you can see in here, got some flat chunks here. Give me a bearing. Yeah, go ahead and operate the camera if you see it out of focus. There you go, right there. So we basically, I just took this in here, set it like that, sandwiched it on there, and then we went. This is our first time experiment with dry ice, watching some of you other folks on the internet doing this, and I was I thought that was pretty successful as far as installation. Uh, did not help us at all for removal, though, did it? No. Cool, dry ice, 101. Does the dry ice make this finger smaller? <laughs> it's smaller, I'm not joking. It might have. <laughs> straight, straight, straight. Quick, all the way. <laughs> oh, oh, don't push your finger. Hold your other hole. Push down. Get your finger out of the hole. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Bloopers.